Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our beloved MiG-21 and we're doing air-to-air -air missiles of the heat seeker variety. Now it carries, I think, three different types. The R-60, the R-60 Mike and the R-3S. It's all very similar to each other. Uh, so we're just going to use one, the best one, the R-60M. As you can see, we've got twin mounted, um, mounted on pylons one and two, which are the inner pylons. So quickly, just to set this up while on the ground, it's easier to do for me. This wants to go to air to air rather than air to ground. This, the missile type selector, wants to be IR instead of uh, radar. Pylon selector, we could fire both at once, both um, pylons at once with one and two. Uh, this here is the um, for the air to air missiles. Uh, but because we've got them on pylons one and two, and I want to fire one at a time, I'm going to just select pylon one, and that will allow me to fire one off at a time, essentially from pylons uh, from the inner pylons. Right, uh, that's it. Scratch. There's one more thing to mention, actually. Send. Um, usually you can only put six R60s on the MiG-21, although the seemingly enough you can choose dual racks on both the outboard and the inboard stations. It just won't actually give you that. Um, you can, however, if you want to cheese it, mix and match and get eight heat seekers on your aircraft like that. Wow. So you can have two R60Ms and two standard R60s on each wing. Roger, nice, sounds good. What we're gonna do is basically, I'm gonna fly towards a baddie, put him in my bore area there. Uh, the front, the heat seeking centers on the missiles, which are locked to bore site, slave to bore site here. Um, as soon as uh, our hostile gets within that bore area, I'm going to get a tone and this uh, this uh, pipper here is going to jump onto the target. And once we've got a hostile in, inside the bore, we'll get a tone and the uh, sensor of the missile will uncage itself so it will follow the hostile, it won't just have to be in this bore area here we believe. Um, and then we'll pull the trigger and fire. Simple as that. Range wise, R60M got about, um, it depends on attitude, speed and whatnot, but about a mile and a half if you're chasing a target about four or five miles head on uh, depending on altitude and whatnot right although it is generally pretty difficult to actually get a head on lock since these are primarily rear aspect missiles the r60ms can partially lock on from other aspects as well but generally speaking in that era rear aspect is really thing. roger so we're going to go and get some hostiles get behind them and uh, try and shoot them down stand by switch it full now Right here. I'm up in the air with Charles. I've just seen my first baddie. I'm going to go and find him. Now, when I get near him, I should get a tone when the heat seeker head uh, picks up a signal from the target, and my Pippa here should jump onto him. Uh, Stahl says that's not realistic, but that's just a default setting for the MiG-21 in DCS. You can also always turn it off in the special settings, but it is pretty useful, so most people are probably going to leave. There, oh, it did it already, right. Now, uh, I know from my experience that that's a bit too far away. So, this is our launch authority three lights here. So when that goes on, we have launch authority for fire the missile. Let me just sort my trim out. And cap is fire, finger on weapon release. Missile away. Kaboomy, your mind, sir. You know, for some reason he didn't die, but that's just cricket. Uh, let's go and find another guy, that was pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna get another one, this guy who's uh, flanking right. Right, let's get some missiles on this guy. Box two. Boom! No effect. Let's try and get another one on him. No, he's going down. He's down. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, another one. Head to head. Let's go. Fox 2 times 2. Kabloomy! He's down. Okay, Charles, that was extremely easy firing these missiles. Um, pretty happy with that, to be honest. It just works really well, doesn't it? Right, so that's the R60M and the other um, IR missiles were essentially at the same. I hope that's useful and we'll see you later.